Hello friends, this is the D Smart XL. Uh, last time I showed you how to create ranges. Now this time I will be showing you how to create tables in different types. We can create tables, and tables are very beneficial if you are having dynamic data, and if you want keep on updating your data. So if you have a table, automatically the table will be expanding. So let me show you the ways to create tables. This, if, suppose if you want this data to be created in a table. So let's go to view. Uh, let's fill this panes in the beginning. So now, okay, the table is set. So let me show you. First of all, keep your cursor anywhere. Anywhere you can keep over here, <coughs> and press press Control T. So now you can see that the table has header, but the range it's selecting is from A1, the cell from the beginning. I just don't require that. So let me cancel this and let me remove this. So the best thing is you have to keep your table magnified. You know, you can keep, you need to keep the table very, very clear cut. Okay, so now if I press Control T, so it's going to six. M605 where the data has been selected you can see the cursor over here again I don't require that I want it to be uh, I, I want those data to be automatically updated when I use the table so let me go and delete from here okay so now when you press control T my data has headers and it has been selected 589 rows so it's over here Okay, so now you can do is you can go and press enter. So you can see that the format has been changed. And the th best first thing you have to do is rename the table. So I'm going to write it here as MPRL. And please remember that there should not be any spaces. And let me. I type this and press enter so now your table is ready now if you go anywhere here and uh, and when you want to go to your table just click over here so you can see the table is ready okay so, so this is one way of creating a table and the other way of creating a table so let me show you that you go to insert and you can select table so again if you hit enter the table will be selected and the third way of creating a table is when you are in your home tab you don't need to go here or control T just you can go is format cells as table and you can see there are different sort of formats available and you can add new format and your own formats also so if you want to have a, a simple format and if you select this now you can see your table has been highlighted and now you can see just put enter or just press the ok button and here you can type the table name whatever you feel it's comfortable but remember that there should not be spaces and if you suppose if I make a error and if I write it if I type this way see it's going to give a syntax error so try to avoid this and make spaces necessary spaces and now press hit enter so now the table has been selected now in future if you want to expand your data the best way you can do is you can type you can type anything see now the whole area has been selected so if you type your 590 If you type here and if you have some data over here let me copy this if you want to have the same data again see the data has been selected in the table you can see over here so this this is this expander automatically this expander gets expanded when the data is been when you keep on typing data and 591 see 
the expander has come over here now so data of the table has been selected or you can check it manually if you here and when you move to the last cursor also you can make it out you can make out that the data has been selected over here or there are different ways also you can check from here the formulas the name manager 592 you can make out that this range over here is selected till here now friends if you want uh, to remove the table you know you don't want to use this table but in ranges you can remove you can go to formulas name manager and from here if there is a range you can delete it uh, for example I want this I want to select this as a range this data as a range and I type it over here I type I make it as this MWR and I hit enter so this is a range now in this now if you, you can see that the table is that the range is here and this is the table this is a table and this is a range now my range if I want to remove the range I don't require the range I can easily go and delete the range from here but the table doesn't get removed here so we need if you want to remove the table what can be done is go to the area of the table and go to design and design either you can resize your table you can you can expand it or you can you can minimize the table this is the way to minimize the table or you can make two tables out of this so this is called a resize table but now we want you to remove the table so the best thing can be done to remove the table is convert to range so it will be asked do you want to convert the table to a normal range click on yes now you can see that both the things have been vanished from here you can also check from here formulas name manager now you can see the table is been removed and the range is also been removed okay thank you friends for watching this video if you like this video just click the like button and subscribe to my channel I will be telling you all the ways in Excel with all the errors which happen to your day-to-day -day life so you don't get panicked thanks for watching